So here is the gear assembly. Sorry, that's headphone cord, not part of it. Uh, the gear assembly for opening and closing the doors on the Spirit Ghost Trap. The main thing to note are these little gates, these tabs here. When they are down, the doors are closed on the trap. So it has this little mechanism on it that works a lot like a, uh, a ballpoint pen with a retractable tip. This little thing sits in place uh, at the top of those gates. And then when the pen mechanism, as I'll call it, is pushing down, the doors are closed. And then when it is retracted, the door is open. So that's basically how it works. This gear over here does nothing. The actual gears are over here. Uh, so the little tabs are there. And when those tabs move, uh, these gears also move. So that is how it controls the doors with that physical mechanism there. Um, I was wondering if I could put a solenoid in the handle. If you notice here on the handle, there's a little empty area that comes here like this. I was wondering if I could get like a micro solenoid or something and just have it inside of that and have it pushed down on those gates when uh, when it's activated or so you'd want it to yeah push down those gates when it's at rest and then pull away from the gates when it's activated uh, so that you're only using power when the doors are open um, the problem with that is it makes it hard to um, reinforce this handle because then I'll have a solenoid taking up this space in there. The nice thing is you could have the solenoid retract into that hollow space on the handle. So that's one potential way of doing that. I, again, my hesitation is I really think the biggest problem with these traps are this handle. Um, as you can see, with the actual fully assembled trap, uh, here's the handle next to it. Um, it does not go very far into that trap. So you can see that little, those pieces of plastic that stick out on it are basically what keeps it on the inside. The casing holds it in place. And I'm worried that, you know, using that over time will either snap that plastic or snap part of the case. Um, probably having a crack in the top of the case, like right around here or something like that, would be one of the first places where that might happen.